Hello and welcome to Quickfire Questions episode 3. In this one, Matthew Smith is in the hot seat from Badger Workshop. Matthew's projects range from small handmade items using salvaged wood, leather and metal, which he sells via his online store, to complete full-scale shepherd's hut builds. He's currently working on building a new workshop following his recent relocation to Durham in the UK. And if you're not familiar with it already, I would highly recommend checking out and subscribing to the Badger Workshop YouTube channel. And you'll find a link to that as well as Matthew's website in the description box below. Now, on with the questions. Describe what you do in up to five words. Woodwork, upcycle, reclaimed, learning, um, winging it. Brilliant, I think that was six, but I'll let you off. Oh, okay, <laughs> then, then you have to edit that out. I'll cut it after winging. Yeah. <laughs> Wipe off excess glue with a damp cloth or wait for it to dry and then scrape it off? People always laugh at me because I have baby wipes in the workshop because I don't have running water, so I'm always using baby wipes to wipe off excess glue. And that works well? It does work well because you buy those like builder's wipes and they're like six pounds for 80 as baby wipes are like 60p for 80. What is your main goal for your channel right now? I would like it to grow because, well, we all want to be successful. I just going to release the new workshop build series and then I've got a garage as well so I'd really like to get into metalwork. I'd like to learn to weld so now I've got space to do it so I think I might do a kind of follow along with me as I mess up learning to weld series. That sounds cool so is, is the plan to use your garage as a workspace as well? Yeah I think the garage because it's, it's got concrete floor, metal walls, so I can have sparks going everywhere and not burn it down as welding and grinding in a wood shop is probably not the best idea. Name one tool that you'd like to own that you don't currently own. Um, I think a really luxury tool I'd like is a drum sander. I think no one likes sanding and the idea of feeding wood for a conveyor belt and having it done for you sounds great to me. A very good choice and a popular one as well because Chris Salomone went for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which of your tools scare you the most? Oh, I don't like circular saws, but now I have a track saw, so I don't need to use that anymore. I guess the table saws scare, especially when you, you're doing a lot of repetitive things. Like if I'm making 20 of something and you can just, you kind of drift off sometimes. You think, right, I've got to stay in the moment. So I do try and not listen to podcasts or anything when I'm using the table saw, I just concentrate on what I'm doing. What is your favourite tool that you own? Uh, my favourite tool is probably the bandsaw. I use it the most probably. I'm, I don't know, I use the table saw a lot, but I love the bandsaw. It's, I don't find it as scary, it's versatile and it's much quieter. And what is your most disappointing tool? And I bought a Wix own sander and I, I used it once and it worked fine and then I put it on a shelf and it sat there for two months and I used it again and it blew up and pretty much any tool I've bought from Wix or Wix own brand has been appalling. Was that a random orbit sander or a belt sander? It was a belt sander and it chewed up the belts and then the motor burned out. What YouTube channels do you enjoy that aren't related to making things? Oh well I used to be a chef so I love binging with Babish because well, I love um, TV and film as well. So having the food from those is great. And the kind of shows that um, analyze cinema like um, Red Letter Media, I really enjoy that. And as a viewer, if you could only choose TV or YouTube to watch, what would you choose? I'd probably choose YouTube because I spend, yeah, I spend more time on YouTube yeah, definitely. Metric or Imperial? Oh, well, I'm terrible at that. I definitely measure in metric. I do all my measurements in metric. I can't do Imperial fractions or anything. But then bigger things like the Shepherd's Huts, they're 14 foot by seven foot. And that's just how everyone knows them. My new workshop is 20 foot by eight foot. And so I swap between them all the time and People often pick me up on it in the comments because it is ridiculous. I just need to stick with the metric. Matthias Wandel or John Heiss? Uh, John Heiss. 
I, I, I like his dry sense of humour very much. MDF or plywood? Uh, plywood, because I hate MDF dust. Would you say you were more of an introvert or an extrovert? Oh, definitely an introvert, says the man that spends eight hours locked in a workshop on his own every day. What is the longest you've spent in a car? As a kid, I remember driving down to the south of France, so that was probably 12 hours or something. But recently, I've done a lot of journeys from Hampshire to Durham, which some of them have been as long as seven hours because of the M25 and the M1, or two of my favourite car parks. What is your worst tool-related injury? I have had touch wood. I have to find some wood now. Uh, <laughs> no bad tool-related injuries. When I was a chef, I had quite a few... Uh, not really... Well, you cut yourself, but I had a few stitches here and there on injuries with bits of machinery and burns and things. Uh, but not in the workshop, really. So hopefully... It's a less pressured environment in the kitchen, so hopefully I take my time and I'm a bit safer. Do you read all of the comments on your videos? Yes. Uh, my channel's definitely small enough that I can read every single comment and reply to them, even the rude ones. Android or iOS? Um, I'm iOS at the moment, but I think I won't get another one. PC or Mac? Uh, same again, I've got a Mac at the moment because I like iMovie, but I can't justify spending £1,200 on a laptop just to use that one bit of software. I'm sure I could probably just learn another bit of software. Make a plan or just get started? Yeah, I, I think I'm probably just get started. Well, I, I do plan things, but I don't use SketchUp. I tend to just feel my way through it and work, solve problems as I go, and that's, I find that way of working much more enjoyable. The Jimmy Dresta approach? Yes. Tell us about the worst job you've ever had. Well, I've only ever really worked as a chef, but I used to run a pub myself, uh, so I was self-employed, and it would be my dream to do it, but it didn't really work out. and. You live in the pub, so you're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it got very stressful in the end. So probably working for myself was my worst job. How would you describe your dress sense? Um, oh, lumbersexual. That's a, a, a great phrase I was told the other day. Uh, no, it's, it's uh, jeans and shirts, and then probably this time of year, actually a lot of layers, and woolly hats. I don't know. Uh, scruffy, probably, is what most people describe me as. What's the most interesting place you've ever been? I went to New York when I was 21 and thought it was amazing. But I think it's one of those cities that it really helps to have some money to really enjoy it more. I mean, I'd love to go back with some more money and enjoy some of the nicer restaurants and bars and things. But yeah, it was a very cool place. Find a use for your scraps or throw them away. Oh, I'm terrible. I don't throw anything away. When I had the removal van and moved, I would have thought 80% of the van was full of wood. I had it gaffer taped up, bundles and bundles and bundles of wood. Is there a certain length um, to which it, it no longer feels useful though? Yeah, no, but now I've got the wood-burning stove, it has a, uh. Uh, a secondary use as it keeps me warm. Bandsaw or table saw if you have to choose just one? Uh, I would go for a bandsaw, and especially now I've got a track saw. I think you could get away with having a bandsaw and a track saw. If you had enough space for a CNC, would you get one? I don't think I would. Uh, when I finished school, I actually went to college and did computer science and was really into computers. And now I don't like computers in my making at all. It's um, yeah, The fun is, for me, the feeling my way through a project, making up as I go along, not sitting and planning it. What is your least favourite part about woodworking? Oh, well, I don't want to say the obvious and sanding, but that's definitely very high up on the list. Yeah, oh, I can't think of anything more tedious than sanding, actually. If you had to be an animal, what would you be and why? Well, I've got to say badger, haven't I? Yeah, I can just be grumpy and come out at night and uh, no one ever sees me and not talk to anyone. 
Do you have any pets? No, I don't have any pets, um, but I've always had dogs. So I would love a dog, but I'm waiting until I'm more settled in the house and I probably have to do a bit of fencing and things and then, then uh, the garden will be ready for a dog. What band or artist are you listening to a lot of right now? Uh, my favourite band is Chewin Breaks, so I often have them on in the background when I'm working. What do you like the most out of making things and editing? Oh, uh, I definitely like the making. I, I, my worst thing is voiceovers. I hate doing the voiceover, but I had a real problem in the last workshop with traffic noise, as now I can actually talk to the camera. Uh, so that might be quite useful and then I don't have to record some uh, as much voiceover work. What project have you done that you are most proud of? I suppose the shepherd's huts or maybe it's even this workshop now. Um, I don't know, somehow the big things are more impressive. So that's it for this one. A huge thank you to Matthew for taking part. Don't forget you can find links to his online content in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more weekly woodworking videos and more quick fire questions too. Thank you for watching. <laughs>